The case for meditation, is there one to be made? Or is meditation just a new age hippie thing that you shouldn't really do and it doesn't help you in any way? Well, in my opinion, meditation is extremely powerful tool, pretty much for everyone. I don't really know any human group who shouldn't really practice this habit. Because it's so powerful and it's free. <clears throat> you can do it pretty much anywhere and any time, any day, and you should do it every day. But you know, if there was a pill that could give you, you know, reduction in stress, helps you sleep, increases your testosterone, focus, memory, youth, sex, happy or happiness and decrease your or reduces your amount of colds and what else yeah it's free increase your presence in life etc it's it's just you know it's really hard to you know think any reason not to do it and hard to think why so few people actually do it because it has so many benefits and for example just for stress you know it decreases your cortisol levels when you are meditating and when your cortisol levels are decreased well in turn it increases your testosterone levels because if you are chronically stressed and you have cord high cortisol levels all the time your testosterone levels will plummet and everyone <laughs> who has ever, you know, been extremely stressed for, you know, long periods of time can tell that they will get really, you know, they pretty much get all the symptoms of low testosterone. So it's really important to, you know, have these habits like meditation to fight off, you know, the high stress environment of, you know, today. Because nowadays we have so many our society is so complex and we have so many stimuli coming from every every direction, every day. You know, all the screens, all kinds of products and, you know, we are just bombarded with all kinds of sensory shit that, you know, just overloads our brain and makes us overly stressed. So nowadays, more than ever, we really need, you know, meditation because... It's such a powerful tool in fighting these problems that we are facing nowadays. With all the multitasking and, you know, people are spend, spending so much time on screen that it's just, it's breaking havoc on our memory, focus, learning. You know, learning is also one big thing because meditation increased this thing called neuroplasticity. Plasticity. Uh, Fuck, I can't speak. But anyway, it increases the ability of brain to perform pretty much. You know, your focus, your learning, your memory. You know, memory, brain has this capacity to... How would I say it? It has this capacity to adapt over your lifetime to different kinds of stimuli. And when we get older, this adapt adaptive thing is going to, you know, decrease because our brains, you know, they just become, you know, less effective, essentially. Even our IQ, IQ, IQ drops when we get older. And meditation can help you to mitigate this degeneration of our brains. And, you know, with the uprising of Alzheimer's disease and all kinds of neurodegenerative diseases, you know, meditation could be a really powerful tool in keeping us more healthy in that sense also. And, you know, what things are associated with youth, you know? It's, you know, happiness, well-being, sharp memory, sharp brain in, in general, etc., you know? 
meditation just helps keep you, you know, young in, in the brain, in the body, in your attitude also. Because this world is really effective at creating people who have attitude problems, in my opinion. You know, people get really negative and depressed and they hate themselves and humanity and etc. And meditation, you know, it, it kind of crowns you and it helps, you know, to adjust your attitude to a more positive one. And that is also a great benefit. And also, you know, sex life. <laughs> well, there are direct and indirect effects that can help with that problem, or not problem, but, you know, with that, you know, how, how do you say it? With that area of your life, you know. And it can actually also decrease the flu virus time you are suffering from flu and it can also decrease the occurrence of flu virus and you know it just helps you keep yourself present in this moment and when does life actually happen does it happen in the past or the future not really because those happened on those or those will happen maybe but this moment right now is the time when life is actually happening. And if you are never present in this moment, you are just worrying about past or future. Are you actually even alive at that point? And meditation really helps you to achieve that, you know, present mind. Just focusing on this particular moment and not wandering around or worrying about past or future, or etc. And like I said already, it's completely free and so easy to do. Or it's at least easy to, you know, start and etc. But for some people, the actual execution might be hard. And how should you go about doing it? Well, it's pretty simple. You just do it twice a day, 10, ten, win ten minutes at a time. And how you actually do it is you for example you could just just sit or lie down and then for 10 minutes your only goal is to you know focus on your breathing like breathing in and then breathing out and your only goal is to you know focusing on that pattern you know in out and you do that for 10 minutes. Don't, don't try to focus on anything else. You don't need to, you know, think about some silly mantras or sit in a lotus position or anything like that. You don't re really need anything fancy or anything, you know. You know, I, I think most people dislike meditation because the, it has this, you know, woo woo kind of vibe you know that you are sitting in a lotus position and mumbling some mantra with some you know <laughs> hippies around you and etc but in reality it can be extremely you know simple non woo woo kind of stuff you know just sit down or lie down and focus on your breath and that's it really the idea is, is to just clear your mind and kind of throw all the junk away from your mind so that you can have a tabula rasa, a clear state of mind, you know. So that's about it really. I hope this was helpful for you and bye bye.